Okay, I'm going to try to stay on script here and um, try to see it actually in the dark, but uh, because when it comes to education, I, I really could have so many things to say. Uh, right before I came here, I was uh, meeting with uh, the National Education Association, some of the members, the local members, and we were talking about some of the issues going on in the classroom in our kindergarten through 12th grade system in particular. So it's always really exciting for me to see really positive things going on in the classroom when I go and visit. And I also get to, because I ask them to show me some of the things that aren't working or need to be fixed. And um, it, it, it's just amazing to see the diversity of issues that go on, even just in the four cities that I get to represent. Um, I see Carrie Sidhu here, who is a member of the city council in Anaheim. I don't know if you want to stand up and just wave to people. I, I, um, I don't know if you were announced, Carrie, but thank you so much for being here because I know that you care about education. I've said Anaheim is my hometown. I take that personal prerogative to introduce um, my, my council member there. Okay, so um, first of all, we're at Chapman University which is my alma mater, and um, also I'm a trustee here, so I'm really thrilled that Chapman is housing this tonight. Thank you so much. And every time I walk through this campus, I'm just in awe at the things that have happened, um, where I still see some of my uh, former professors, like uh, Dean Booth here, and uh, then I think to my professor, Jim Doty, and everything that's happened here at Chapman. And it just makes me so proud when I see Chapman listed in the business a week's uh, magazine of top universities across the nation. So I just wanted to acknowledge that one of the reasons is not just the brick and mortar that we see every day coming up here and, and, and so beautiful, but it's actually what happens inside between the walls. And so I'm so proud of Chapman. So once again, thank you so much, Doctor, for allowing us uh, to do this here. Okay, so let's see. What do I want to say? I'm supposed to tell you everything that the Congress has been working on with respect to education, but I will tell you that. Um, let me say a few things first at the state level, which are difficult for me to comprehend because I've never spent time in Sacramento. I haven't served in Sacramento. And, of course, Sacramento today, for me, is just going crazy. Um, it, it, it's a difficult place. It's a difficult environment. And, of course, at least our kindergarten through um, uh, 12th grade system is funded uh, predominantly at the state level. The curriculum is decided at the state level. We also have, of course, the local issues that go on because we have the local boards for local control. And the federal government, to a large extent, is not that involved in the kindergarten through 12th grade. We begin uh, to have more involvement with President Bush's No Child Left Behind, where he uh, suggested that we have standards and that we test the children, and some people agree with that and some people don't agree with that. But one of the things that came out of No Child Left Behind is something very important. It's that now we have statistics to tell us how students are actually doing. And that becomes important because unless you really are measuring what's going on, it's very difficult to know whether you're succeeding or not. Now, the way No Child Left Behind, of course, is written, we need to change it, in my opinion, because ultimately no school can continue to go higher and higher and higher without any end to it. So every school at some point will be a failing school under the No Child Left Behind program. But it is important to see what the standard is, what the median is, and what children are not reaching there, and then, of course, how to get them to at least that uh, middle ground. And one of the things that we did, the federal government, was we put that lie in, we asked you to measure, and then we didn't put the funds to make the changes. If a child was below the median, how we were going to 